Hi, this is Bianca from CraftyGirlCricket.com and today I have a beautiful, easy gift or just something nice for you to make for yourself. It's going to be a fake tumbler. I would have it in front of me, but I've actually already made them and gifted them. I made about 14 and then as I'm going through and editing the videos, I'm realizing I didn't do an intro. <laughs> so here's your intro. Um, I'm going to walk you guys through the steps. We're going to start by cutting out our vinyl, then we're going to clean our cup, weed out all the little pieces out of our vinyl, and then uh, apply transfer tape, and then we're going to um, clean the cup with some alcohol, and then add um, our vinyl, and then we're going to put this dishwasher safe Mod Podge, and I'll leave a link in the description box below, and it will allow your recipients, whoever you give this gift to, or just for yourself, um, it'll allow you to be able to wash it without that vinyl coming off right away. So, um, let's get started. Oh, if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe and like. It helps share my videos. It lets YouTube know that my videos are good and that others might be interested in seeing it. And so it's also just a really easy way for you guys to support me and share the love. All right, let's get started making these fun, beautiful tumblers. Find space open, we are gonna head over to the projects tab. Then I am logged in as myself, so if I tried to type in Faith over here, it wouldn't show up um, because it's under my projects, but you will be able to just type in Faith under all projects and it should show up just like this. Then you're going to click it. It'll have three pictures of, and then of the of all the ones I've made, and then it will have um, an image of the image I made. So it'll also have a description. It'll have a link to my YouTube for those that are on Cricut Design Space that don't know I have a crafting channel. Um, obviously, you know because you're watching it on the crafting channel. Um, it also will have the materials as well as the steps. So we're going to go ahead and click customize. Now, if you know this is the size you, size you need for your tumbler, you could click straight to make it. But I always suggest that you start with customize because you may have a different size cup than the cup I was using. Um, and if you're making it for something else, you know, this is such a easy to transition project where you could cut this out on iron on fabric and now you have a pillow or a t-shirt or, um, you know, an oven mitt or you know you could cut it out on permanent vinyl and have it on all kinds of different stuff you could make coasters you could make mugs you could make um i mean obviously the list goes on and on because it's just a quote so you can put it pretty much anywhere you want um, i made this four and a half by four for my mug because i basically took a measuring um stick and uh, measured the face of my cup and decided okay how far can this curl before I don't see the whole word because you don't want it wrapping all the way around the cup because then it's hard to see what it says so you want to make sure that from here to here you can see the whole thing when it's laid on your cup I like to use my sewing measuring tape but you may not have measuring tape so just do the best you can another way to do if you only have like a ruler you can take a piece of paper, lay the piece of paper from where you think your word should start and unwrap it around to where you think your word should end. Then you take that strip of paper and you lay it on your ruler and it'll tell you exactly how much you need. Um, and it will, you know, take out the confusion of the curve for you. Now, this is the size I use. So you go ahead and size it up or down just by you click and drag, and then you can size it up or down make sure that you keep them all together because they're not attached or welded because it, watch what happens when I attach it. It changes it all to one color. And then when you go to make it, it's going to try to put it all together, which I'm not going to um, do because I have two different colors that I wanna make. So I'm doing this in gold and these in white. So I'm going to click and drag, adjust as I need so that they all stay in the same ratio. And then I'm gonna go over here and click make it. This is an easy enough design that I don't need them to be laid out together. It'll be easy to make sure that, you know, I basically put faith down first and then put have 
and um, the chapters down here. And that way you make sure it looks right um, for the way you want it. So you can adjust these however you're going to end up putting your vinyl on your mat. And it hardly takes any vinyl, which is a plus. So you just get enough to make sure that you go around the edge of your design. And then you're going to hit continue. I don't have my Cricut on um, yet, but um, you would just go through and make sure they're all the way you want. Then you're going to hit make it. It's going to have you select your machine. Then it's going to give you an option for your tools. You're going to make sure that you just have the basic knife. Um, you don't need any other tools. It'll be in clamp B. And then down here, it'll give you an option for materials. And then you just make sure you put whatever materials you are going to be using. So like I said, I used permanent vinyl. So I would select permanent vinyl shimmer because I was using the shimmer for the gold. And then I would select permanent vinyl um, for my white. If you're going to use chipboard or iron on or paper, make sure that you select appropriately based on what material you're using. Then once you've selected that, you're going to hit go load your mat up and hit go and then it'll start cutting it out. I'm going to go ahead and cut my permanent shimmer gold vinyl out to the size I need for the word faith. I'm also going to grab my easy liner contact paper and go ahead and cut it out to shape for later. Now I'm going to attach it and press it down real well to my mat and I'm going to load it. A side tip is if your knife is a little dull, you can take a little ball of tin foil and then just stab it over and over and it is a wondrous thing. It'll make it so sharp and I just do this every couple of weeks. Now you're going to go ahead and load your mat and click go and then it'll cut out your beautiful word faith. Now I'm going to flip over my mat and take it off. That way it prevents it from curling. I'm going to set it aside with the contact paper and now I'm going to load the little bitty white piece. So I'm going to cut out the size for the word have a little bit bigger than the size that it, you actually need to make sure that it doesn't accidentally cut the mat and then you end up with half of a word or something. So now I've got it loaded up and we're going to go ahead and cut that out. When that's ready to go, we're going to hit, we're going to go ahead and follow the exact same step. We're going to flip it over, pull it off, and then set it aside with its contact paper. I am going to trim off the excess though, just so it's out of the way. Then I'm going to use the extra that I just trimmed off and I'm going to go ahead and place it on my mat for that last little tw tiny mark verse. I'm going to go ahead and insert it, load it, and start it. And Once it's cut out, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to flip it over and pull it off and match it up with its piece. Look at how well it cut out. It did a great job for something so tiny. Now I'm going to go ahead and weed the entire word faith and I'm going to take off the main areas being sure to pay extra attention to those little tails on the F and the T so they don't get ripped off. Once I'm done with that I'll come back in and I'm going to take all these little tiny bits out. Now I'm laying over the contact paper and trimming it to size. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to weed all the excess off, come back in and take all those tiny pieces out and then lay the contact paper over it. Make sure you don't lose those little tiny dots in the 1112. Then I'm going to um, do the same thing with this one with the contact paper and then the final one, the word have. I'm gonna weed out the little bits, put over the contact paper and now I'm ready to go. Now grab your rubbing alcohol, wipe down your cup and then start removing the backing to all your words. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the word faith with some pressure and then peel off the contact paper. And I'm gonna repeat those steps with the word have and the Mark 1112 quote. Once that's ready to go, we're gonna go and grab our Mod Podge. I'm just going to take some of this dishwasher safe Mod Podge and a brush. I'm gonna wipe down with a wet paper towel to make sure there's no lint. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and start painting a thin layer all the way around. You do your first thin layer and then once you're finished and you make sure there's no extra lying around because it's going to um, it's going to dry clear. So you make sure you get all that excess and once it's ready to go, you just set it aside and wait for one whole hour. You let it cure and then you're going to come back and we're going to do the second layer. 
Now for the second layer, you can see it dried nice and clear. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing, but pay extra attention to the area that you have your design on, because you wanna make sure that there's no gaps in your coverage so that you know you don't want water getting in there. I still recommend hand washing, but either way, just make sure you get it really well all around the bottom of this cup. And then you're gonna let it sit and cure overnight, and then you're ready to go. I hope this tutorial helped you create your own adorable tumbler. If you have any questions or would like a video made with a specific project in mind, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. I'll see you guys soon. Keep crafting.